Alright guys, what's going on? Evil Dragon back again. Up for episode 3 of our creative. Uh, this one again was another one that I built back on the 360, pulled it over in my Xbox One. This one I put a lot of time into. This one uh, I put a couple weeks into. Um, it's quite large for a creative build. Uh, I had a lot of fun building it though. Um, it's like a... Basically, it's a big old castle, except it's not real big. I mean, the castle itself isn't big, but everything else around it is. Uh, we'll get started right over here. Um, this is on the corner of a map from the 360. You know, it's only one map size, um, so this was the very corner of one. On each end here, and then on the other side, we have some docks uh, for boats and things. Um, and then we'll just go right on inside right through here and I found this village and figured oh, I might as well put a wall around it and put a bunch of pillars and things um, as you can see I've basically taken all the blocks that were already there and replaced them all with other blocks just to kind of match the whole thing all together but basically this was already generated I did spoof it up a bit added uh, you know a little bigger farm areas and things um, Big old wall all the way around, a bunch of little mini towers connecting in between the walls all the way. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much down here. Built that little bridge over there myself. Uh, another tower over this way. We got more villagers and villager houses and things again like I said these are already pre-made houses I just changed every block pretty much on them to match the whole whole thing now the towers and stuff you can go in each and every one of these towers uh, you cannot go inside the wall here but if you do go upstairs in each tower you can walk the perimeter of the whole wall all the way around the castle so we'll go back over this way got some big old trees growing and we got this nice little lava water fountain here made with a little bit of glass thought that was kind of cool I had a lot of fun building that one took me a little bit to make sure that the lava did not turn into cobblestone uh, lots more towers and things uh, if we go over this way, uh, there's a tower there too. Let's go check that out first real quick actually. Uh, this tower over here is a little larger than most. You can get to it from the top of the wall here as you can see. And it does have a spiral staircase all the way up to the top to take a peek of things with a bunch of lights. But you can come up here. And this is the next part of the wall, which will bring you up into the castle. That's the little house of a castle. I mean, it's not great. Um, it's pretty small. So we'll go back down here real quick. This is the actual entrance into the castle here. A little sideways stair action going on. Uh, my door is messed up again. Great. Um, so yeah, so this is the bottom floor. Uh, just kind of like the workroom area. You know, a little bit over there, a couple crafting tables, furnaces. Um, so down here on this side of the basement is the dungeon. So we got our snow golems behind bars all over the place with some dirty floor. I uh, used mycelium for that. We got all our snow golems down here. And if we go back up here, you can see over this way on this side of the basement is the chest room. So if we go down here... You can see the massive size of this chest room. It has pretty much everything possible. And yes, I did even take the time to fill every chest full of things. So everything here uh, is full all the way with items. I did not skip a single chest. Everything is full in this place. So... But yeah, everything pretty much, uh, even like, you know, here, Bottle of Enchanting. Even the few things that you can't 
get in game, I still filled a chest full of. Um, so yeah, that's the chest room. Uh, pretty much every item you can possibly think of in Minecraft. And then if we go up to the next spot, up this little spiral staircase here, we got like the little bedroom area. Beds and living and things like that. From this level, you can go outside this way to the wall, which is here. And again, traverse all the way across the top of the wall. Uh, there is one more level to this. And if we go up here, actually I think there's two more levels. Um, so yeah, we go up here. And I'm lost, I haven't been on here in a while. So then we got our potion area here. And a bunch of chests again full of potions and all the things you need to make potions a couple brewing stands um, all your water and things like that and then if you go all the way up to the very very top you have an enchanting table in the enchanting room for this place so we'll go back down here and go back outside um, yeah we'll go this way first so from the first floor of the castle over there, you can see the workbench area. Uh, you can come out to the back. We've got our nice little tree and kind of like just garden, little pond back there, a relaxing area. Uh, you can also go this way. I do have a rail system set up for it. And if we go on down here, you can see I totally took the wrong way. I gotta go all the way down to the other end and back. And this is the farm area. It's all underwater, completely underwater. We'll get a top shot of that here in just a second. But nice big old farming area underneath. And if we go even further down, you can see it's more farming area. We got our sugar canes down here and a couple trees that we can cut down and replant every time. Needless to say, I spent a lot of time building this one, put a lot of detail into it. Um, had a lot of fun though building it. It was, it was kind of awesome to see it all come together. So we'll go run up here real quick and get the overhead view. We go up and over the wall. You see the very large pond on the side of the castle here and you can see right there everything underwater. I mean it's not many blocks underwater but it is completely underwater by about a block or two. Okay so we'll run all the way back up top here and again we'll go back down here to the doors the back doors from here we can go around the stairs to the little garden area and down this way we've got our cobblestone generator fixed up with a button and a lever that way we can turn it on and off so it's not always just constantly running we can shut it off and then if we go down this way all the way down here this could be the start of whatever you really want. It could be train station, turn it into your mine, strip mine, um, pretty much anything you want to do with it. Didn't really go too far with it just because this build was already so massive as it was. So we'll go back on up this way. And then, Again, from that one level where you come out onto the wall, if we keep going on the wall out this way, this is the other dock right below us here. Again, if anybody's coming in by boat, they can definitely make it into the castle from there. But then here, what we have is our little wizard's tower. Uh, you go all the way through on top of the wall. And then we could climb all the way up into the wizard's tower. It only has obviously two things. I don't know if I filled these chests. Yep, I did fill these chests. I was that into it. Um, so we got our potions again here. 
And then up top we have just another enchanting room, an enchanting area. Um, again, nothing special, just enough to get full levels out of the enchanting. And so we'll go back down, all the way back outside, onto this level. Uh, and this is where you can go back out and go ahead and go right into the nether and go do things in there. Um, I did make a little path in there. It'll bring you right over to the nether fortress. Um, nothing real important, though. I won't go and show that. Um, but then, as you can see way out there, if you go out the back side, you can see that I have made a bunch more towers. Um, many, 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 many bridges. And it does have a rail system. So the purpose of this is you can jump on the rail in your minecart at the wizard's tower and then we would go all the way down here and at the very end and see back that way is my castle but if we go down here it'll bring you right to the end I found the end and I built the bridge all the way out to it so that way it was easy access if we wanted to go in and slay some dragons pretty far down But it brings you all the way down into the fortress and literally right to the portal. So we can go ahead and fill that up, turn the portal on, and go fight the dragon if we wanted to. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. Like I said, it was uh, a lot of fun to build. It was very time consuming. I put a lot of attention to detail into this one. I did enjoy it though. Um, it's probably one of my bigger builds that I ever did. If I had any thing that I really didn't like about it was probably the fact of my little castle that I have. I didn't really allot for enough room up there. So the castle itself is basically like a one-man home almost. It's definitely tiny, but it fit. And of course we got all of our villagers and things in the bottom too which was really awesome. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, again, try to follow me on Twitch if you guys are bored. I uh, will try to Twitch as much as I can. I mean, my internet is a little bit on the slow side, so sometimes I, it does lag over there. But uh, if you do want to come on over, give me a follow over on Twitch. That'd be great. And don't forget, we will catch you in the next video.